I grew up going there, as you can see from this, it's as old, a kid. Oh, that is so cute. But I didn't know, until I was asked to direct the documentary, I didn't know it was 90 years. So I was like, there's so much, obviously the Beatles and Dark Side of the Moon was recorded there. There's a lot of historical sure. moments, but there's so much more as well, like film soundtracks. Elton John's in it because he was actually a session musician. And that's when he says the smell of fear because you had to arrive prepared and, you know, he was a jobbing musician then. He was Reginald Dwight. He was Reginald Dwight yeah. the first time he went there. Yeah. God, that's astonishing. And he, but he was kind of starstruck as well, wasn't yeah. he? He was, very much so. But looking at this, I mean, the main reason I wanted to do this documentary is uh, it's a really busy working studio still. Right. So people make the pilgrimage there. Like, if you go past that Zebra Crossing, oh, the, there's always yes. people there. And they always, and it feels like a real... Um, pilgrimage like there's real meaning like it's where people can congregate people yeah. that love music mm -hmm. and so the documentary kind of I film inside I interview people inside so the viewer will feel that they've been inside the studio that's what you want you're right you actually that, do feel and you get that sense of history too yeah. but this this nearly never happened this is quite an accident this <laughs> photo was it yeah, because they were saying, what should we call the album they were working on? And then there was, there was a, the engineer was smoking a packet of cigarettes called Everest. And they were like, should we go to Everest and do a photo shoot? <laughs> and then they were like, let's just go out on the zebra crossing. Just the zebra crossing. <laughs> well, just, you were very casually, there they are just walking across. I mean, that is one of the most iconic yeah. photographs of of all really yeah. it really is it's lovely to see footage of, of everyone you know of all of the Beatles and all, all of the people too especially of your mum yeah especially your mum which is lovely I mean she was such a pioneer in yeah. so many ways and especially when it comes to I mean, she was way ahead of her time way when it came to healthy time. eating vegetarianism yep, yep. and all of that and and she's really been an inspiration for you in that sense she's she? been such an inspiration I mean without really meaning to I've kind of mirrored her career like a photographer so there's a cooking show food you know yeah. vegetarian cookbook so yeah and i work on her other linda mccartney food range i'm a consultant on that so yeah i'm always thinking of my mum but with the documentary there was one picture that i always remember seeing which was a picture of her leading a pony across the zebra crossing yes she loved animals so much that you know the pony she was like oh let's yeah, take it to is work that, is that jet the that's pony? jet the pony oh, for goodness sake jet. and she was just like like she like a, having a puppy or something. She's yeah. like, let's take. And did it, it did it come? Jet yeah, came that's in. What mum did, you know, she just didn't care what people thought. She was like, you know, I love animals. It's just I'd rather just, hang out with the pony than hang out with anyone else. And today. I bet it made everybody feel better because <laughs> they do. You know, as soon as you see yeah. an animal, see that would be the way that everybody would be so creative yeah. because of Jet. But in that the documentary, day. Dad says because I'm like, look, I wanted to do this documentary because I remember seeing this picture of yeah. mum and it made me smile. And he's like, yeah, and I think she brought him into the studio. And I don't think he disgraced himself. <laughs> well done, Jet, because that's always the danger. So funny. That's always the danger. I know, that's why we don't all have ponies to work with us. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I know we all want to. No, we of can't. course we do. But it's, it, is, it is a great thing to do. And something that you nearly, mm. you were sort of swithering a wee bit, weren't yeah. you? You weren't too sure whether to yeah. do it or not. Because, um, you know, my career has been portrait photography and then I was invited by the producers. They said, do you want to, would you direct a documentary? It's my first feature documentary I've directed. And I thought, should the first one be about Abbey Road? Is it too close to home? I've always been like, I need to make my own career path. Yes. And so I shied away and then I thought, it's an Oscar winning production company. They're amazing. It's a great team. I do want to direct. And it's a it's a subject I'm passionate about. And also it's ninety years, so I was like, Oh my goodness, I don't know half of it. It's film soundtrack. Film soundtrack saved Abbey Road. Yeah. Because the big studio one was for orchestras and in the eighties the record the bookings were drying out. And then they got this big um deal to do movie soundtracks and Raiders of the Lost Ark was one of the first ones. Wow. Star Wars, Harry Potter films. Was there's so many films there, so that kind of stopped it being made into a car park. So. <laughs> oh, thank goodness, could you imagine? Yeah, so many stories were like unearthed, and oh, there's so much to jam into 90 minutes. And I guess I mean, you've taken so many portraits in your portrait photographer. You, you did yeah. the Queen, didn't you? Did do when was that? Was that 2015? It was her to, it was the, I was commissioned by the palace to, this was released when she became longest reigning monarch. Ah. But it was top secret. Gosh. Like you went in, it was, I was invited in, in. It's sort of my style. It's kind of informal. And she didn't want any pomp and ceremony. It was like business as usual, longest reigning monarch. Right. That's her red box. A 
and the papers it genuinely i had a little sneak look in and it was did have her papers because wow. i like everything to be quite real and not yeah set of course up. of course well that's what i like about that because she's not she's not sort of posing no she's in a, in a very sort of formal way yeah it looks like she's in the middle of doing her work yeah well and also she was sort of chatting and looking out the window because um the it was when the summer exhibition was so they sort of were noises going on outside so she was uh, being quite jolly and talking about that and the exhibition and she was brilliant what really unpredictable thing. really dedicated what an amazing thing to have done mm. amazing thing to have done it's great to see you Thank good luck you. with everything you're doing i'm sure we'll, you'll be directing a lot more but if these walls could sink it's out the 6th of january isn't yeah. it it's on disney plus 6th of january and you know if you're interested in music in any way whatsoever movies everything it's all there thank you thank good you to see you me. right 